Today marks six months since Hurricane Sally devastated the Gulf Coast. Many people are still recovering, some still waiting on insurance money to make repairs. Aaron Field spoke with one Pensacola family who just wants answers. This is Doug and Wendy Underhill's house right behind me, and even after six months since Hurricane Sally hit, they tell me nothing has still been done for them. This is footage of the Underhill's house during this, Hurricane this Sally. Like no this... We have half the square footage that we had. We lost three of our four bedrooms, two of our four bathrooms, um, family room, um, utility room. That's what we lost. And this is what it looks like now. Just sat all over again to see things like um, Boy Scout uniforms and medals and trophies. Um, just, um, just a couple weeks ago, I found one of my son's Pinewood Derby car from Cub oh Scouts. The Underhills lost everything and are still struggling. We have our son who was 17 at the time of the storm and has since turned 18, has been staying in the RV that we own. Um, when he leaves, he will have spent the last, his last almost a year at home with us, not sleeping under the same roof. <laughs> Telling me they've had very little response from their insurance company. They say they've made numerous calls, filed multiple claims, and have received almost no communication from them, and now have turned to an attorney. To simply stop communicating. Not only is that wrong, but it's so disrespectful and unethical. You can say no. You can explain why it's no, but you can't just stop picking up the telephone. The Underhills have fought through Hurricane Ivan, the 2014 flood, and know the risk when it comes to living in Florida, but just want something to be done. I mean, we're going we're to fight for what's, what's right. Um, I don't want one dollar beyond what's right. I don't want any special treatment uh, different from somebody down the street, um, but I absolutely want them to say what they're going to do and then do what they said. I did reach out to their insurance company for a statement and have not received a comment. Reporting in Northwest Florida, I'm Aaron Fields, WKRG News 5.